I come the spider man. What's going on, guys? I'm gonna take a quick little peek at the letter. I only really have just like maybe an hour to play, but I bought this for the spooks, so I'm gonna play it for the spooks. Just a little bit. Uh, we've done the alpha build of this as well as the beta version, which had a drastic change in art style. And um, I know that they they also got uh, voice actors for this this time around. Ooh! Ooh! It's loud, loud game. Oops, um, sorry. Oops, 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 oops. Behind the scenes happened over here. Where is the game? There it is. Prorogu. Ooh. Spooks. The Ermengird Mansion. It was built for the Lord Ermagod and Lazy Elizabeth Ermagird of Luxborn, humble ambassadors of peace and beloved blah 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 blah. Both were known for their compassion and generosity, never failing to extend a helping hand to anyone in need. Under the influence and wealth, there was once... What was one? Is there like voice acting? Jesus. No, no. Wait a minute, I'm gonna do a quick share to the social medias, if you don't mind. Under the in, uh, under their influence and wealth, what was once a small, sleepy village grew to a prosperous and bustling town. However, the seasons of joy eventually ended when the good nobles perished at the hands of a great plague. That sucks. Um, aha, uh -huh, there we go. How? Oops. The, the sharings, the sharing, sorry. Where's the fuck? The fuck base. The book face. Watching us. They're watching us. As we'll fly away. The riches and legacy were henceforth passed on to their only child, Lady Charlotte Ermagerd. <laughs> oh, their ellipses. The mansion stood since the oh, 1620s, a witness to a very long history of joy and pain. After Lady Charlotte committed suicide, the great house was eventually left uninhabited. And that's when it began. Surrounding villagers spoke of seeing and hearing unearthly, earthly things of cries and howls that filled the nights. And hearsay of a mysterious woman roaming the hallowed halls. Aim. I don't know what I'm ac ac accent I'm doing. People who dared enter its walls were simply never heard from again. Even after 400 years, these stories remain, much like the house itself. Whispers about the once great house, its legend, and its curse still fall upon the village's ears. In spite of this, the current owners are convinced that these stories are nothing more than a hoax. It's always a hoax. With little regard for the truth, they had Briar Realty Corporation. All right, there we go. Like Pandora's box, the secrets that lie inside the await oh discovered by brave souls. No matter what happens, take care not to be consumed by the curse. Good luck. Isabella. Oh shit, it's Rose. Soup, it's Tatsumaki. Hello, Isabella. Are you there? Where are you? Oh yeah, I'm in, in London, a British something. A familiar jittery voice comes from the other oh, end. Hey Rose, I'm at St. Goretti High. What's the matter? Oh yo, the voice acting. It's solid. Alright, I'm gonna unsheath the the Bankai. Give me a second. Unleash my power. Do I do I have it in the center? Sweet! I got my anime power on. Let's go. Is it? Is it? There we go. Is it centered? Is it? Yeah, yeah, there we go. A little bit. Over there. Over there. No, I will be protected now. I won't be the, the spookified. Hey, Rose. Where is the... Oh, what is this? Journal. Oh, shit. Profiles. New. Oh, hello. I'm a Gemini. A 20 year... That's bullshit. Nobody's 20 years old now. I say because I'm old. 
arts, fine arts undergrad, Roman Catholic, of course, Filipino, of course. A state agent at 20. Hmm. Hmm. There is a auto. There you go. What do you mean? What's the matter? It's a mansion, silly. I'm here and you're late. Are you gonna Jeez, die though? Shit together. You promised. Oh my you God, promised. Don't tell me you forgot. You were planning on leaving me to check this place out on my own, weren't you? You chickened out. Jeez, calm, calm down. down. You know I take my promises seriously. Do you? I'd like to believe that. So hurry up and get here. This place is huge. A bit too quiet since no one's lived here since, like, forever, but beautiful nonetheless. Why are you so surprised? This isn't the first time you've been there. Ooh, this art's really oh, good. I just wish I could live in a place like this. It really takes my breath away. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Not after the rumors that say it's haunted. Jeez, never mind those rumors. Ghosts Why is there like a, a super villain over here? Even if they are, which they are not. They can't do anything. They're nothing but spirits. You don't know that. They might be listening or watching right now. Jeez, she's might really not be happy scared. You enough to curse you. No offense, sweetie, but that's a bit of a stretch. Uh, believe it or not, it's better to be careful. Better right. safe than dead. You know, not every property we sell will end up with a dead body stuffed in a sofa. And I think that mansion is where we're likely find another one. I can feel it. Feel it. That was one time, Isabella. Loosen up. Wait, let me just check my audio levels. Forgive me, technical difficulties abound. Technical difficulties abound. Actually, I think that's pretty good. Maybe I'll buff mine. I should have like a little remote for my headset. Maybe I should use my fucking Steel Series. <sighs> Wait, just get here ASAP, please. I'm getting bored being here on my own. Are you sure you're getting bored? Fine, fine. I'm not Let scared. Let me just finish up here. I'll be right there soon. Okay, see you. Bye. Well, this voice acting is really good. She hangs up before I can respond. Rose, still charming as ever. And who was that? Nanny. I look for, for my phone to see Rebecca. Becca, giving me a questioning look. All right. Oh, that? It's just Rose. Yeah, Rose? man. The one you said who trained you for your job back when you started, you're working together again? Wow, look Just at her. Just for this property. We've been scoping out that big mansion down Anselm Village after the renovation. Scoops! Today is sort of its grand opening to the public. The RC wants to give it one last check before we let potential buyers tour it this afternoon. Oh wait, mansion? That big spooky one you've been telling everyone about? What a mansion. Didn't you keep saying how it just gave you the creeps? You actually went there? And you're going back? Well, I did promise Rose I wouldn't ditch her. And besides, a job is a job. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. <laughs> oh, giggles. She lets out a soft What's chuckle. So funny? Nothing. It's just that I didn't expect you to say that. Coming from you, it sounds so out of character. I mean, no offense. But you've been freaking out about the place being creepy ever since you got assigned to it. Cursed rumors and all. I honestly thought you'd back out. Not all the time. I could really use a huge amount of cash right now, and this is just the fastest way to get it. Plus, listen to this. Briar Realty wants it sold as soon as possible, and the agent who lands the deal is going to get a huge bonus. They never give bonuses like that. Getting that would make life so much easier. They're desperate. I'm desperate. It's perfect. A sympathetic look crosses her face. You no, know, if you're really in urgent need of money, you could have just asked me. Ooh. Or Ashton. We can always let you borrow, and you can pay us back whenever. Oh, what good friends. I have to keep myself from groaning out loud. Okay. In the years I've known her, I can already tell what to expect once she has that expression. Sex. Becca, I've noticed that you've been living off instant noodles these past few weeks. Yeah, hey, that's not healthy. Mm-hmm. So soon soon. Oh, scolding. Who has pink hair in Europe? Come on. Instantly, I'm reminded that why Becca excels at teaching boisterous teenagers. Because they're like them hooters. Junk. They're cheap, but they're not good for you. 
You'll definitely end up in the hospital if you keep at it. Ooh. I eat other things too. You're not my mom. Here we go again. Hey, I eat other things too. Oh shit, the auto stop. All right. I fold my arms across my chest, mimicking her posture and giving her the best frown I can muster. The same one I'd use with my younger siblings when they were being difficult. Instead, she only raises an eyebrow at me. That's not going to work. Oh on god, me. that's so good. And I saw it when you were cleaning your flat last that week. That animation is so good. The instant noodle cups outnumber everything else. Why don't you throw them You're away? You're just exaggerating. Geez. Did you even see what's in my cupboard yet? I'm not just living on instant noodles alone. I've got canned beans, peas, tuna, ham, and even hamburgers in there. Yeah. <laughs> That goes wrinkling her nose by the time we get to the end of the small list. I would have laughed a, l a little at that if I didn't know it would only lead to more reprimands from her. Aren't those the same ones you won from the grocer's raffle? More oh than God! Ago? Oh. oh! I sincerely hope you're checking the date stamps on those things before eating them. I don't want a repeat of last year. In any case, those are still not exactly healthier choices, Belle. Oh, the animation is so good. She shakes, she shakes her head, possibly laughing at some funny distant memory. When she looks up, I immediately brace myself. More words from her. Sometimes, it's just better to let Becca talk until she's out of things to say. But when she turns her attention back to me, there's only warmth in her smile. Aww. What am I going to do with you? Actually, I was about to say, when when Becca started raising her voice, you could like hear the microphone she was using sort of almost peak a little. So I'm wondering if, like, when they look for voice actors for this, did they all have them record in a single room, like using the same equipment in a more controlled environment, or did they do the thing where um, they would just ask the person to record their own lines using their like their own individual equipment and then send it in because like you know that kind of works but you're limited to whatever equipment that person has and it, it's it's the flaw of say how fan animations or you know uh, artist-driven animations and side projects are when when they do that because when when they hire a voice actor say from abroad or you know someone they don't know they just look for some people online and those people may have a good voice but don't have the best mics at least i'm hoping that you know the audio quality stays consistent but otherwise it's really good like i'm i'm really i actually like <laughs> that there's a lot of voice acting i mean you know i, I still have to read these out but for the most part, the, the characters speaking for themselves is, is pretty good. The fucking birds in the background. She says this more to herself than me, her voice shifting to something kinder, even motherly, if I'm looking for the exact word. Auto next. Come on, come on, next. Come on, come on, baby. You can do it, game. I hope you know that it's impossible not to worry about you when you're like this. You don't have to keep eating the same thing. I already told you before. You're always free to reheat food in my fridge. And there we go. Keyboard shortcuts. Oh, S is save game. Sweet. Tab is skip. Ah, T is um, to show where I'm branching my paths. Right click is save? Huh. Interesting. Oh, these controls are pretty fucking elaborate. That's great. If only I had time to memorize these. Options is O, L is load. That's pretty straightforward. Yeah, let's save. <laughs> it, it really is just right click, alright. Is there no, like, key for auto relationship? Ooh. Look at you. Fuck it. I don't even know who Zack is. Why is it so high? 
Oh, she liked my response. I wonder how many endings are, are there in this game. Alright, no, no, no spoilers for me. Jay's journal. Oh, cool. I can't wait to see what that does. Is there really no, no auto? Oh, um, text. Hey, you can totally skip QTE. Alright. No, that's not what I want. Controls. They should put like auto on A or something. You know, it's it's kind of a weird oversight how it's not there. Anyway. Thanks, Becca. I really appreciate it, but you don't need to keep babying me. You've been Baby. taking care of me since after I moved here. You have to take a break sometime. And before you ask again, no. You know I'm not a fan of borrowing money. And I'm not going to ask you to give me what you earned hard for yourself. Ah, you and your pride. But suit yourself. The offer stays on the table, though. I nod in response, if only to get her to drop the topic. Look at them hooters. I'm, but I'm pretty certain I can never take that offer. But why? Free food is great. That's what friends are for. Ever! Fucking so prideful. <laughs> I was about to say. It has nothing to do with pride. I've simply seen plenty of times how friendships can take a turn for the worse just because of. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought she meant like the money. Uh, not, not the money, the food part. I don't want something like that to happen between me and Becca. We may argue a lot of, about a lot of small, petty things, but she already feels like a real sister to me. I don't want to lose that friendship over something so trivial. There are two things that you never talk about on the dinner table. It's religion and money. Becca's movements, when she takes a quick glance at something behind me, snaps me out of my thoughts. Well, enough chit-chat. Lunch is ending, and my students will be back any minute. We can catch up later. Good luck with your clients. You better treat us to lunch or something if you get that sale. You bet! I can't place her accent. With a small smile, she returns to her desk and begins sifting through the pages of a rather thick history book. She's probably working on next week's lesson plan. Blah, blah, blah. Or trying, at least. Oh, I hate the top she's wearing, though. Her eyes are distant, and she doesn't seem too attentive to whatever is on the page. <coughs> oh, shit. Becca starts coughing heavily. Her hand easily goes over to me. Oh, does she have like the cancer or the tuberculosis? And this is precisely why I followed her here. Because she is the sick. For someone who makes a habit out of worrying about other people, Becca sure forgets how to take care of herself. Hey, you sure you can manage on your own? Oh, yeah, man. I mean, you're still a bit feverish. Oh, she's super sick. Um, you should have seen, like, look up our video of the alpha build of this game, and the art was completely different. Like, the, the alpha and the beta go through the same story parts, and kind of end at the same parts as well. Which is, um, the first branching path in the mansion. But, like, uh, the art is completely different, there's no voice acting. I know this game went through, like, I think two Kickstarters? And um, there was issues with the first one that, like, I only I heard about. I didn't really look it up. But I'm glad that... Ooh, hello. Hosting stream with seven viewers. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah, I I'm, like, I'm really glad that this game came out. And the art is really good. And, like, fucking Emil, if you're watching right now, you make that request to the artist of this game. You know what I want. Oh, Don't so cute. Me. I'll just drink some medicine and I'll be right as rain. See, like, you know how in most um, quote unquote dating sim type games, when they, they animate, like, the whole um, sprite changes, if, even if it's, like, just the face, maybe? 
but this one like you can like the limbs are separate the head is separate like the little eyebrow bits are separate that's cool oh like i'm sorry i'm having trouble reading the, the chat names wait, let me try to full screen this Ooh. wait 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 full screen the display to oh it's ram what's up ram and then yeah it's kyle and the other one what's up guys thank you i level her with a flat look is that flat enough for you she has had a cold for a couple of days now something about the strange weather not a yeah weather cold suck i got one of those today and despite my advice to take the week off and rest, I found her apartment empty when I left, when I dropped by this morning. She even left the medicine her doc- Okay, that's just stupid. Look who's being stubborn now! You see your little smug even be face? Right now. <laughs> Seriously, you big baby. You big baby. For now, just go to work and stop making that rose girl wait for you. I really can't place her I'll accent. I'll call you if I still feel bad. And you can come pick me up if it makes you feel any better. She offers me a reassuring smile and I can only sigh. <sighs> Why do I even bother? There's no stopping her once she has decided on something. These birds never disappear. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm defeated. I reach inside my bag to pull out the same bottle of medicine. Why does she have, like, baby medicine? She looks at it wearingly when I place it in front of her. You brought the drugs to school? Unfortunately for her, this is one thing I'm not letting her have her way. Shove it in her mouth. All right, but don't forget what the doctor said. Drink this on time. I'll see you later, okay? I'm using the BM uh, 800 with an amusing gleam in her eyes when she shifts it. Okay. <laughs> look who's playing the mother hen now. <laughs> look who's playing Rebecca. the mother hen now. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't tease anymore. I'll make sure to drink it, Mom. I swear I can't fucking place her accent. Before I can retort, she casts another look at the clock. I'm like, get the fuck out, girly. School's about to start. I take that as a sign to finally end the conversation and my short visit. With a small wave, I leave her alone to her classroom and her thighs. Read that on purpose. Read that wrong on purpose as a joke. Zarbox. I hail a passing taxi to take me properly. Oh shit! Wait, 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 wait. Uh, <laughs> I hail. I hail a passing taxi to take me to the property as soon as I leave the school grounds. The mansion is some ways out of the country. Jesus, some way out of the countryside. But I don't have trouble getting the driver's directions. Giving the driver's directions. Sorry, reading is hard. Apparently, everyone in Luxborn City knows of it, including every bit of rumor surrounding the place. Fuck, same birds flying. <laughs> Alright. Relationship is new. It's kind of the same. Better save. The, in fact, just the mention of it. See, see, look at these fucking birds. It's the same birds. Even the mention of its name is enough for locals to give you cautious, sidelong glances. Yes, this is the character who wears green, is black, and has dreadlocks. I swear to god, it's, it's just fucking, it's just wooly. Like, did they know, I wonder? Like, do they have a best friends fan in their character designer team? I learned that the hard way the first time I commuted there, and it only boosted my belief that there's something more to the house. Even the news of it being renovated and placed back up in the market has caused quite a stir. Thankfully, it died down a few weeks later. The place would have become a lot harder to sell otherwise. I avert my eyes from the window once the buildings shrink in the distance. <laughs> I click, come on. We get a glimpse of the countryside soon, along, although a quick glance at my watch tells me we've still a few minutes away from our destination. I might as well get some work done. Rose did ask me to review the mansion's documents. I already looked them over last night, but you never know when things may go wrong. Life has a way of messing things up. That's called Murphy's Law. Fuck that guy. 
Halfway through reading the papers, my phone rings again! It's Rose being super dead. I pick it up without looking, neatly tucking it between my ear and my shoulder. Rose? Super dead. Guess again. Nani? That voice. Sonokoi. Ash. Bingo. Who hey, the fuck is Ash? That? Just checking if you're still cool later this evening. Ooh. Do you mean that thing with Zack? What? Yeah. He even called in the middle Ooh. of the night just to remind me. Creepy. No, don't worry. I didn't forget. I'll be there. Cool. I'll see you later. What time do you get off? Around 5, 6 p.m.? I don't know. It's the first day of the Ermengarde Mansion's open house, and Ermengard. we're expecting quite a number of potential buyers. I'll be booked the whole afternoon. Oh, that's bullshit. Mansion? <laughs> you know, the big Jacobean mansion at Anselm Village? I'm on my way there right now, <laughs> Wait, actually. wait. Wait. Did she just say... Because, correct me if I'm wrong, like... How you normally read this is Jacobian, right? Did you just call it a Jacobian? On your own? Jesus. Yeah. Well, Rose is already there, but yeah. I see. Looks like the scaredy cat finally toughened up. Shut up. Oh, so cute. He <laughs> can't help but roll my eyes upon hearing it. <laughs> what a douchebag. <laughs> I'll see you later. Drop me a call when you're done. I'll see if I can pick you up. Ooh. Whatever. Look at this Bye. fucking anime nerd. What the fuck? Stupid asshole always teasing me whenever he sees a chance. Tee hee. I'll show him who's tough. Fuck you. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Whoa. Why does it start me off here and then. Hmm. Hmm. Is it like, do I control another character for these two days? Interesting. Oh look! It's the history book and the Meta Saints. Before going to the Ermagard mansion, Isabella Santos dropped by saying blah 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 The medicine before leaving on the way to the mansion, blah 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 from Ashton Gray. Dre? Gray? Reminding her of Zachary Steele. Oh, fuck these names. Zachary Steele. Two brothers. In a van. And then a meteor hit. It takes a few more minutes until I finally reach the infamous man shown. Man Cyan. What is this icon? Is it the auto icon? Or is it the next icon? It's next. I'll have to admit, the entire prop property does look wonderful from the outside because of the money. Yet, despite all of this, it does nothing to hide that something's just wrong. The surrounding area is usually silent, and the only t rustling of the leaves can be heard. Fucking these birds never go away! <laughs> the same set of birds. They're the evil ones. While Anselm Village is just a few miles away, everybody keeps their distance on these fucking birds. Jesus. Perhaps out of fear, the horror of falling under the mansion's curse. Like, uh, at least you can see the city in the back, I guess? Or is that just trees? But like, look at how fucking... It must be super rich. I mean, like the house, to, to get a house like this in real life, you must be s stupid rich. Makes me feel kind of sad. Irma Gerd. Seikachu, the lack of immediate human presence just makes this place all the more eerie than it has any right to be. Don't judge the house by its spookiness. If it's uncanny in broad daylight, I can't imagine how this place looks at night. Are you planning to go inside that oh, place? Fuck it! <laughs> you see that ludicrous display last night? <laughs> Christ. It, it made me jump out of my skin. Come on, come on. Without completely taking my eyes away from the house, I give the driver a confused nod. How do you give a confused nod? Like, eh? A beat passes while I wait for him to say more. But only... non -cr Okay. Belatedly, it occurs to me that he must have been waiting for my payment. I mentally slap my face uh, promptly and face him with the apologetic money. I expected him to leave as soon as I paid, but there's a hesitant expression on him, as if something hasn't been said yet. You see that ludicrous display last night? There's something wrong. Protect the block, fam. Sure you've heard what the people are telling everyone about that place. 
Nobody likes to be disturbed when they're at peace. And I'm pretty sure whatever they say is in their house doesn't want to either. Yep. I admit they did a good job fixing it up, but there must have been a reason why even distant relatives of the family who used to own the house never lived in there despite inheriting it. No wonder they wanted to get rid of it. M maybe they just didn't like it? All right. Give me a sec. Give me a second. All right, all right. I just had to take a swig of water and adjust the air conditioning upstairs. All right, let's go into the spook house. You never know. You never know. Dole. He drives off after, but what he said has left a foreboding fear in my butt. I breathe out a heavy sigh as I approach the house. It's got two fucking chimney smokestacks. What the hell? After hearing enough of the rumors, I should have expected the conversation to take its turn. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Like, what is the purpose of having two? Do they have two fireplaces? Where does it lead? It's fucking... It's two stories of a house. <laughs> and yeah, these birds, they're, they're still there. Yep, time for the spoops. Spoops. But I'm already here backing out this completely out of the question, Italic. It's not like I have a choice anyway. Well, it's a job. If I want to get that bonus in commission one way or another, I've got to sell the shit. The door is a horror when I get into it. However, while my own copy of Keys Dangled used to see in my hand. It wasn't a question, sorry. Rose must have left it open when she arrived. She's super dead, guys. She's super fucking dead. That's weird. We may be the only people here this early, but I've never known her as someone careless. It's because she's super dead. God, look at this fucking house. Whoa, wait a minute. While I was looking at the house, it skipped the dialogue. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. Entering what greets me inside leaves me gaping. I've cleaned every corner, waxed the floor, dusted the antique, searched every nook, cranny, and crevice, and it made spick and span. All for the sake of making the mansion more enticing to modern day lords and ladies. Like, if the house is haunted, you'd think they wouldn't let them renovate it? I mean, functionally, you know, if I was a ghost and they wanted to, like, fix up my house, I'd totally let them do it. You know? But that's not, that doesn't seem to be a very common trope. Maybe these ghosts are smarter, you know? Fucking modern, modern day ghosts and goblins. Yeah, these portraits are real scary and castlevania -y. Except for this guy, he looks like a dick. And this is Beethoven over here. But no matter how hard they try, the mansion still looks as soulless as ever. What the fuck? 
as though it's going to eat you alive. If you ask me, they should have just listened to what other people have been telling them and leave this place alone. I thought you wanted that bonus, yo. Some things in this world are better left alone, never to be disturbed again. Again. Rose? Oh, shit. I call out. All right. Sabella. Rose, Isa Santos. Where are you? Rosa. Rose Doko. My voice echoes softly through the hallways. Ooh, that light. That light's good. Oh, who am I kidding? This place is haunted as shit. In a place this big, I don't think she'll ever hear me, no matter how deafening the silence is. She could be all the way on the other side of the property, for all I know. I know she's dead. <laughs> oh, shit. I quickly reach for my phone and dial her number. Yeah, um... Isabella Santos is the, the Pinoy character here. Because it's a, it's a locally made game, which is fine. I think this takes place somewhere in Europe. Because Rose has a British accent. Ash does not. He's like hella American as fuck. At least that's how he sounds. And um, Becca, which is... What's your name? Um, fuck. Isabella's friend also has this weird accent I couldn't place. Oh, where is their relationships? There we go. So you got your fantastic lineup of characters here. Then, yep, pink-haired Rebecca over there. I can't get any portraits yet until I meet them, I suppose. But yeah, this is our main pro tag. Look at her, so cute, spunky. A real estate agent at 20 years old while having a fine arts degree. That's... Either she's really good at one of those things. Or, you know, it's a, it's a fantasy video game. It's a fantasy video game. Time to get the spooks. Yeah, I can feel it coming. Dakedo. She's super dead, you guys. Even her phone number has not been recognized. That's the power of the ghosts. They can delete your number from their records. We were just talking a while ago. It's not like she was eaten by the house, right? <laughs> it's not possible. <laughs> or... Or maybe the ghost did hear us talking and spirited her away, right? Is that a movie? Spirited away? Right? Ellipses. No, Isabella, don't be ridiculous. She's probably just wandered deeper into the house and lost signal or something. How, f <laughs> like the way the phone just pops up, kind of, kind of a little jarring, you know? Please check and try again. But to no avail. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh jeez. I have a very bad feeling about this. Oh, oh boy. Rose? If you can hear me, please come out. Oh, she's so scared. Come on, Rose. This isn't funny. It isn't funny Anna's anymore. This gives me the creeps. Oh, super scared. No answer. This isn't gonna work. The place is big. She could be anywhere. God. I need to start looking for her. I need to. I need to. I want to. I take a deep breath before venturing deeper into the mansion. What a mansion. No, there's something move above the grand staircase. I did not see anything move. Did you guys what see anything hell? move? Rose? Rose, is that you? Like I heard the sound effect. Not funny. I'm leaving you if you don't come out. Yeah, let's fucking turn this down a bit. It's kind of loud. There we go. Back to auto. Not coming out, huh? Fine. I'm going. Okay, that's a lie. It's her inner thought. She's my friend. I can't really leave until I know she's all right. It's sort of like I really like the the lens flare effect that comes through the stained glass. Growing desperate, I try to contact again. Come on, please give me something. Please, Lord, with a capital L, because she's Roman Catholic. Because she's from the Philippines. Yes, finally. See, fucking... Now it works. Hello? Hello? Rose, I'm here at the mansion. So scared. Look at her. Where the hell are you? 
She doesn't respond because she's dead. Like, you know she's dead because she's not in my character list. <laughs> I sincerely hope it doesn't get cut off again before I can get an answer from her. Oh, oh geez. Where are you? How's the audio balance, by the way? A few months pass until the static eventually starts to quiet down. I'm... Attic. I'm right. Attic. The Attic? Why? Crap, it got cut off. Crap. Man, do I really need to go there? Yes. With how deep inside the mansion the attic is, there's barely any signal there. No wonder I can't contact her. Oh, jeez, Rick. Why is she there? Oh. Spooks time. Okay, cool. That's good to hear. Uh, she just has to make fetch the creep wit. <laughs> Out of all the places, she just has to make me go there. Make me go fetch her in the creepiest room of this place. It's fine. Is she doing this to get back at me for being late? You know, in a spook house, I don't think anyone would be crazy enough to do that. Usually, they're the first to die in movies. And, well, you know, I'm sure she's super dead. The sooner I meet up with her, the sooner I feel better about this. About being here. Sorry, reading is hard. I carefully make my way up the staircase. My legs wobble as I mentally curse the fact that I've chosen real estate instead of picking a career that doesn't involve... Sh Come on, that's not that's a really oddly specific thing to mention. Upon reaching the top, the grand hallway greets me. You gotta wonder, like, where does this lead? Is there, like, a garden in the back? Or does it, like, just drop you off into the backyard and you just go super splat? Because, like... This is cool, but functionally, that's weird. Stained glass right in the middle of the hallway. What a mansion. Unless there's like a, a, a spook. The windows are all open, what the fuck? It branches out to two major wings of the mansion, the east and west wing, no shit. There are two attics, one on each side, uh, with the chimneys. But the east one has been converted into a storage room of sorts, and somehow... I find it least likely for Rose to wander there by herself. Besides, she never did like going into stuffy storage rooms. Yeah, maybe there is a garden in the middle. So I head towards the West Wing. Ha, huh, it's a TV show. First, uh, where a simple wooden door at the end of the hall opens to a small room. Ah, oh, look. It's the green open door that's ajar. Inside is another step, set of steps leading into the second attic. All right. Yeah, mid gardens had found. Yeah, you're right. Uh, it did have like a little um, rotunda thing at the, at the front of the house, but no structure in the middle. And um, I don't know if there's a big gate on it, but yeah, fucking European rich houses, man. If only, if only we could have some of those. Unlike the grand staircase, though, the stairs to the attic are steep and narrow and made of old. Yeah, fucking uneven stone steps are the worst. See, like, they completely renovated the house, but somehow missed the dusty attic. Eh? Eh? Unless the ghost made it dusty. That's probably the explanation. That's the answer I'm looking for. Kick up into the air with each and every step. Thank God it's still daytime. Ooh, that's not going to keep you safe. If it wasn't for the light streaming through the door behind me, I might easily stumble and fall. With how old the place is, there's no light fixtures to illuminate the cramped passage above. I'm really not good at reading these out, I'm sorry. Why didn't they bother to add one when they were... See? <laughs> like, or is it like a haunted attic that only appears when the ghost is active? They did with the rest of the house. A small bedroom welcomes me at all oh, these fucking sound effects, man. Ooh, it's filled with cobwebs. The last time I've been here, full of dust worn out and faded by time. Odd, I thought they cleaned everything. Cause the ghost dust. Did the crew miss this room? Ugh, cleanliness is the least of my concerns right now. The more pressing matter is Rose. Rosa Chan. She's not here! Was I dreaming when I talked to her a minute ago? Did I mishear her? 
Did ya? No, no. It couldn't have been a dream. After all, the creepy ambience of this estate is doing such a remarkable job of making sure I stay alert and awake. You know what? Let's save. I'm sure she said she's here in, in her ghostly, choking voice. The birds are back. The birds are back. Is this a prank or maybe that phone call was Rose's last message? Yeah, that's. I'm sure that's exactly what happened. Shut up, brain. You're not helping. Uh, don't make this scarier than it already is. Spooks. But if she's not here, then where is she? It's like a million other rooms in this house. Ah, oh, Jesus. What the hell was that? Is it getting darker? Oh, this is just the light. That's it. I can't do this anymore. There's a ghost right behind you. I'm leaving. That's right. I'm saving too. That's, there's a ghost right behind you. I must have angered the spirits living in this shitty attic. I knew disturbing this match was a bad idea right from the very start. Well, but nobody listened. Why are they haunting you and not like the people who you fix this place up? Be f fucking realistic, they said. I'm cuckoo because I believe in curses and ghosts and all that. Me and my outlandish back. Why, hey, hey, come on. We don't live in huts anymore in this country. Jeez. I've always strived to be a model employee. But not this time. No. I'm turning my back for the sake of my sanity. Briar Realty can find another agent who's more fucking real. Easy with the language, come on. To throw people around this haunted house. Before leaving, I take one last look at the gloomy. Why would you do that? It's haunted, man. Just to check, you're gonna find a note under the bed. Huh? Yep. This? Yep, my worries about caused me to miss when I first entered the room. But there's clearly something on the floor. It looks like a... Oh, the, that's the title of the game. Lying on the ground, just a couple of inches away from my feet. Out of sheer curiosity, I lean down and pick it up. Ooh, strange. I don't recall seeing this last time I was here. A few days back, me and a few other agents ins inspected the mansion to prepare for today. Where are they, by the way? Where are all these other agents that you keep mentioning? I had been the last look inside the attic and leave, and this certainly hadn't been here before. Oh, must have been left by the ghost lady, by the rose lady. Was she here a while ago? Couldn't have missed her, though, could I? There's only one set of stairs leading to the attic. The letter isn't exactly in pristine condition. In fact, it looks rather ancient. The paper is so thin and rough, I'm worried it'll fall apart if I so much as touch it. Wow, dumb sound effects. But with great care, I open it, and what I read shakes me to my core. Help me! Help me! God, she's got like fucking cat eyes. <laughs> oh, jeez. These sound effects are really dirty, man. That's... that's... <laughs> you know, like, more than visual spooks, sounds is what gets me. It's also like why music in, in games and movies and TV shows like also hit me the most. In the good way and the bad. Sound design, yo. Nothing but the words help me fills the page, all, those, all of it seemingly written in... It's, it's blood, of course. Blood. It's always blood. I gulp. The same phrase just goes on and on until... Look behind you. Ah, did you get it? Did you guys get it? It's a chain letter. Send this to five people. Or Remember those? <laughs> or else what? Oh or come else on! What? Oh come on! There's nothing no. on the back. Oh please no! <laughs> this art is hilarious. Like, Jesus! <laughs> My hands tremble as dread creeps up over me. The room is suddenly getting colder. I know there's a QTE coming up. This was in the demo. I need to get out of here. Folding the paper in half. <laughs> that side that greets me next is... Oh, here we go. Ew! A pair of blood-soaked feet. Oh, of course. Like, that's rot. That's way beyond, you know, functional. Like, is that bone? Come on. 
enters my field of vision covered in gaping wounds with her skin eaten away to reveal flesh bone and all matter of things one is meant not meant to see and it's too much all of it is too much i want to cry call for help but the words that catch my throat even my feet won't move completely paralyzed out of terror um all right all right all right so um i believe in the in the demos if you close your eyes and pray the ghost just isn't there. I mean, you don't have to do the QTE in the room. But we have to see the spooks and be scared. So let's do this. I need to face it. Whoever, whatever those feet belong to. I need to fucking face it. If I'm gonna die, if they're gonna kill me, at least I know what my killer looks like. A cold comfort. So with a deep breath, I summon every ounce of courage I have left in me and shift my gaze upwards. Whoa! Wow, lady. You are... You've got some... I think you've got some nice boobies. No. Please, don't hurt me. Please. That's good. I like the, the motion vector animation that they use. It's, it's pretty cool. Without thinking, I scramble towards the door. I struggle to open it, but it won't fucking move. Why now? Why won't it open now? My heart sinks in as it, it, I'm locked in. Locked in with that thing. It slowly approaches me as I wrench the doorknob violently back and forth. Oh, tap Z! Whoa! This is way harder than I remember. <laughs> okay, I, I did it. The door finally swings open. I couldn't be, couldn't have been happier. I swear, that was harder than it was before. Either that or I just had a late start, but yeah, that's good. Oh fuck! I should have saved on a different slot, just so you can see what happens if you d die die. Oh well. <laughs> Don't forget to rotate your saves, kids. Wasting no time, I leap out the door and don't look back. My feet pounds against the rhythm of the floor with the loud, fast beating of my heart. <sighs> By the time I run past the hallway, I find myself atop the grand staircase. My chest feels so tight, it's like it's going to burst. But that's nothing compared to the feeling of hope. The next sight of the exit gives me. Racing down the stairs, I breathly, a breathly laugh escapes me. And there's a ghost behind you. My shoes, oh, ouch. Oh, oh, gee, oh. Until my back hits the ground and pain racks my body. And there she is again. All right, this is where the, the beta ended. I'm not sure, I don't think the alpha ended here, um, but yeah, th I, I have no idea what comes after this. My head grows fuzzy and my vision dims as I fight to stay conscious. Go! Go! The last thing I see are those feet, but I'll, before I know it's the darkness. Ooh! Oh, oh, it's the anime intro! I had my mouse. You can enjoy the anime. Alright, I'm getting tired of dancing. But yeah, look at this anime intro. Look look at it. I mean, it's really good. There's Wooly. <laughs> just, look at what he's fucking wearing! He's got like a fur coat, but an asshole. Oh, uh, whoa! Are those your, like, her parents? Why is it in Japanese or Chinese? Ooh, she's really pretty. Whoa! Look at them hooters. Why is Bully in jail? I just got a gun. Oh, look at this super cool lady and, and wooly. Help me, the letter. Oh, hey, that's neat. Except that, you know, it, it was the, the motion tweeny animation. A buzz breaks the silence. I start to rouse, pulled into consciousness against my own will. I've never felt this tired before. 
I just want to sleep, but the insistent buzzing, poking and prodding isn't letting me. Alright, let's find out what that is. The old, my old mattress may not be the comfiest of places, but that doesn't make me any more eager to wake up. Alright. Okay, this is, see, why does it start you off on the 17th? Hmm. Yeah, I think we do get to, like, control everyone. See, this is her bio. Third child among seven. Ooh, that's a lot of kids. Daughter of a laundry woman and a jeepney driver. She went to a public school and was an average student, but took to art easily. As, uh, eventually, she pursued a degree in fine arts, as in count encouraged by her father. However, when the man was diagnosed with terminal ill- Ah, oh, come on. She had to stop studying and make to make money. It was Elis Isabella's aunt who helped her get work overseas in order to earn more money than any local job could get her. Rose Cooper became her mentor as soon as she started as an agent in the Burke. It's been five years since she met her neighbor, Rebecca. She has met Ashton during the unfortunate incident involving the first sale of the. Oh, what? Unfortunate incident involving her first sale at is that Devlin Court and later. So she already fucked up before. That's funny. Five more minutes, Becca. Ooh. I swat away at what is nudgingly persistently at my side. Come, on, can I just get a few extra minutes of sleep today? I promise I'll work hard once I'm up. A hand lightly taps my cheek, and something cold is suddenly being pressed at the back of my head. Oh, it's ghost time. It's fucking ghost time. Icy sensation slowly spreads throughout the area, giving me an uncomfortable feeling. Kim Fandango, can you hear me? So is Z gonna always be the quick time event? The fog immediately lifts from my mind the moment I recognize a voice and my ears snap open. Ooh. Okay, she kind of looks not as cool as in the intro, and I had no idea Rose was going to get like a full-on sprite. Another woman loiters beside her. Is she a Belmont? But my attention is too focused on my co-agent to even ask why there's someone else with her. Rose's posture just screams worry, although she's keeping a straight face, or trying at least. I can't help but feel bad for making her fret. A wave of dizziness washes over me as soon as I try to get up, forcing me to lie back down again. Luckily, the feeling subsides after a few seconds. Only a mild throbbing somewhere at the back of my head remains. That's called a concussion, folks. While <laughs> with a little assistance from Rose, I push myself upright. Uh, she hands me an ice pack, where'd she get that, and gestures for me to press it, where I suspect a small bump has already formed, if the light ache in the area indicates right, anything. Isabella, where are we? The Ermengarde Mansion. Why? Ow, my head. And the date today? October 21st? Rose. Last one. Can you count to 15 in reverse order? Oh, she's checking for concussions. That's smart. 15, 14, 13... 12 teen? No. That's wrong. Why are we doing this? She's just checking if your injury is in any way serious. Yeah, you can totally hear like the, the audio quality difference between Rose and what's her name? And even Isabella. Uh, what did she say? This time, I curiously regard the woman standing beside Rose. It's impossible to overlook her with the way she towers over us. With her anime powers. And here I thought Rose is already tall, with green hair. Who is she anyway? One of the remaining... What? How? <laughs> Cleaning shoes? Okay. With how prim... <laughs> there we go. I don't think anyone would want to clean in a suit. An expensive suit at that. The gloves alone must have already cost a fortune. Her eyes slowly shift between me and Rose. Considering... Considering us with an almost unreadable expression. But finally fixing a sharp gaze on me. I can't help but fold my arms protectively over myself as she does so. She may be far from cl fr uh, from a cleaning crew, but she certainly looks like a sup our supervising supervisor during evaluation. I'm really tired. 
I eye them both warily, but I recite everything as she asked. Rose releases a breath of relief once I'm done. You scared me for a moment there. I was about to call for an ambulance. Are you alright? Exasperation soon replaces the dull ache. The memory's a little fuzzy, but the attic and... There, there was someone, Rose. In the attic. Someone? You mean a client? Oh, that's unlikely. It, it's probably just one of the cleaning crews. That's bullshit. We'll a few of them back this morning for some last minute... No, not any of those. They're... Uh, I'm not actually sure. It's a ghost. Wait, didn't I call you? You said you were in the attic when you answered. That's why I went there in the first place. Both Rose and the lady look at me like I've just grown another head. Because ghost. Did I say something weird? No shit. Rose quickly, quickly casts an apologetic smile at the woman before the awkward silence stretches on further. It's her saleswoman smile, the same one that she taught me back when I was still her trainee. Should I show this to troublesome clients? Or just avoid trouble in general, she advised. I should just show, sorry. It's also the same one she gives me when I'm done when I've done something particularly absurd that may cause us to lose a potential sale. Ooh, she finally unfolded her arms. It's weird how they're like staring directly at me. <laughs> you know, it's kind of creepy that they're blinking too. Her eyes are serious when she turns back to me. She takes both of my shoulders, gently squeezes it, and with as much patience she can muster. As much as I'd love to have gotten at least a heads up of your arrival, I didn't really get a call from you. You know, signal here is absolutely horrendous. Of course it is. I was in the garden earlier and couldn't even make a single call. Of course it is. And the ghost just happened to have a phone. Well, I'm going to ask again. With your number. Are you really alright? What happened? It's ghosts, man. I, I don't know. It's all a bit blurry. Everything's so blurry. You, but you were in the attic. Everything's unclear. And, and there's... Whoever it is. Then I must have tripped on a rug or something on the way down. Yeah, man. Dangerous. Oh. Oh, no. Do you think someone came in while you were out? You left the main door open. We are so going to get into big trouble if something gets stolen, Rose. Perhaps it is a concussion. Are you sure you feel fine? We could still call for an ambulance. I could cover for you. No, I'm fine. I'm okay, Rose. I can work. Wait, wait, wait. Hold your horses, Rose. I just can't miss an important sale because of a minor bump in the head. An extremely minor bump. I've had worse when I was a kid. This is Besides, nothing. I leave, you'll have to shoulder everything in the open house. Alone. And in a mansion this big? What a mansion. Well, there's also the part where I may lose that bonus BRC promised. But that's completely besides the point. Rose gives me a skeptical look when I return the cold compress to her and push myself off the floor. She was still on the floor the entire time. All right, I have to use the staircase's railings to steadily, to steady myself. But otherwise, See? I feel fine. I'm a okay. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> can can like, can they just make out or something, please? Two of them exchange a worried glance, and Rose assumes a contemplative look. I bite my lower lip in anticipation if she says no. All right, you in. A smile threatens to slip out for me. If I see that you aren't feeling well, I'm taking you personally to the nearest clinic to have you checked. Clear? Clear as day, ma'am. Thanks, Rose. You insisted. But remember what I said. First sign of you looking not okay, and we're off. No questions asked. It's just a small bump. Don't worry. You shouldn't downplay these kinds of things. It could be a serious injury for all we know. <clears throat> yeah, man. Suddenly, a small cough sounds against the walls of the foyer, interrupting our banter. The woman is looking expectantly at the two of us, her stare making me shrink back a little on myself. She isn't really intimidating. Well, she is. <laughs> but not in the scary negative way. Far from it, actually. Her demeanor simply commands an air of sophistication and respect. In a different world, a younger me would have probably wished to be like her. At our lack of response, she coughs again, lifting a well-trimmed eyebrow. Oh, look at that uh, eyebrow at me in question. Words get caught in my throat at the sight of it, and Rose, 
as usual, is swift to catch my blunders. My sincerest apologies. She's fucking is so cute. Miss. Miss McCulloch. McCulloch. Mary McCulloch. Whoa, whoa. Trelay Rose Designs, interior designer, Miss McCulloch at xmail.com. I wonder if this is really reflective of phone numbers in Europe. <clears throat> She hands Rose her business card. The words interior designer catch my eyes before my partner flips it over. Oh, probably someone interested in the mansion for its 17th century influences then. I won't hold it against her though. Despite the hearsay and remaining uninhabited for years, the mansion's original fittings and furniture have been kept completely intact and restored. That's bullshit. The furniture... <laughs> Was it like 1620s? That's bullshit. Like... Anyway, I suppose some people find that trip to the past feeling appealing. After all, with what it offers, this place could also be a haven for people looking to live somewhere with a classic historical Ms. charm. McCullough. I'm Rose Cooper and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We're just ironing out a few things, but we'll be starting the tour soon enough. Mahal. In the meantime, we've prepared some refreshments for you in the parlor while you're waiting. If you could please. Thanks. There's no need for it, though. I just dropped by for a quick survey of the place. Oh, are you from Ireland? I thought I should check the estate before I meet with the homeowners. Rose's confusion is impossible to miss when she glances at me, and I return it with an equally perplexed look. And, against my better judgment, I blurt out the first question that comes to I'm mind. I'm sorry. Homeowners? I should have kept my mouth shut. A flash of irritation crosses her face. But it instantly disappears under a mask of professional detachment. Yes. Hannah Wright? I was hired by her to handle the interior design for their newly bought home. This is the Ermengarde Mansion, right? It right. is. But... She pauses, possibly trying to find the right words to fix the awkward situation without offending anyone. Ooh! Ooh, here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. I kind of want to say this. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Did it, did it work? Ooh, look at that spike! Worth it. Those few moments have given me enough time to clear my head of any nervousness or confusion it clouding is, it. ma'am, but we weren't aware the mansion has already been sold. What do you mean? I almost flinch when she turns her gaze on me, but I stand my ground. Besides... It isn't like I haven't dealt with awkward situations like this before. I may screw up at times, but that doesn't mean I haven't learned a thing or two. In the five years I've worked the in the business... The mansion is indeed for sale, ma'am. Today is the open house, in fact. However, we haven't heard anything from the higher-ups that a deal has already been closed for this particular property. If you'd like, my co-agent and me can check with them right now. And I... Fuck, that, that's bothering me. That was a weird nod, seemingly in deep thought after I finished. Uh, appreciated, but unnecessary. The nod, I mean. She appears to be a reasonable, per reasonable person anyway. Given the proper explanation, she'd surely understand. I thought something looked odd when I arrived here. Excuse me, I think I need to make a call to my secretary. Oh, you thought the mansion has been, like, sold already? Thank you for your assistance, Miss Santos. No, not to worry, man. Uh, what accents. With a slight wave of her hand, she leaves us. That seems to be the end of it. Ooh! So cute. Both Rose and I breathe a sigh of relief. Disaster averted. Although, I also don't miss the thumbs up she gives me for doing a good job. And I can't help but swell with pride. Still, I've already prepared myself to dial the number to the Luxborn office and check, even if she didn't ask for it. I will be very frustrated if, for some reason, some, something has already been decided without my or Rose's knowledge. That's a whole new level of unfair. We've been working hard on this. Moments later, Miss McCullough returns, looking a little frustrated, but with an apology clear in her face. 
Oh, she's blushing. I feel a little sorry for her having to go through all this trouble. There seems to have been a little misunderstanding with my client. If you'll allow it, I'd like to stay and wait for them here. I was oh, that's not that a problem. I for the open house today. I figured it'd be a waste to just leave after that long drive. I might as well meet him here. Certainly. You could stay at the parlor in the meantime, ma'am. I'm sure it won't be long before our guests arrive. And Isabella? I left a few documents in my car. You know where I keep those. Uh, I do? Can you please get it for me? I guess. Rose takes a glance at her wristwatch before- What wristwatch? There is no watch on her sprite. If we're talking a set of keys. You still got a few minutes to double check those papers. Okay, got it. Got it. You got it, chief. Their departure brings with it a stillness to keep me company, neither welcoming nor comforting. Alone like this, it's impossible not to think of what really happened. I wish the memory isn't as elusive as it normally is. Then again, Rose already sh said she didn't receive any call from me. Was it just paranoia? A temporary lapse of having heard all those tales about this place? Probably. I want to think of it as such. Better to think of it as such so I can work in peace. Except a small part of my mind begs to differ. And if I'm going to be completely honest with myself, I want nothing more than to leave this place as soon as possible. I don't know what's in this house and I don't want to know. The keys Rose have just handed me dig into my palm. It's jagged edges creating shallow ridges on my skin from how hard I'm clutching it. It's a reminder of what I still need to do and why I've taken this job in the first place. Hugging my blazer closer to my body, I exit the house to get what Rose asked of me. Just a few more hours, Isabella. Sell the house. Get the money. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Was that just for me? These fucking birds are back. Alright, I got that. Um, we got some journal updates. Ooh. What? Oh, ice pack. Alright. Cool, cool. That's really cool. A flock of people have already gathered in the mansion's front yard by the time we officially open the doors. I'm not sure whether I should feel baffled or, un or underdressed standing in their presence. Men and women of wealth and status all dress up to the nines in fancy suits and lovely dresses of varying colors. Compose the medium-sized crowd. Their necks, arms, and fingers are adorned with silver and gold, glinting in the afternoon sun. Some even have ridiculously fancy feathered hats on their heads. I really hope there aren't any magpies living. Did I read that correct? Magpies living nearby, like in the stories. Those birds will have a field day in this. They are murmuring amongst themselves. Among themselves, sorry. Looking at the estate's facade appraisingly, with some arguing about whose mansion has the superior architecture. But most of it stops as Rose calls for their attention. They don't look too pleased at being ordered around. But what can they do about Ladies it? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We'll be taking a tour of the mansion in two groups. Please make sure you've filled up our sign-in forms before joining a specific group. Those who want to look around the first floor, please follow my partner. I'll be guiding the ones who wish to see the ground floor. Oh, this looks so cute. Hearing this, a few wander to me. They are mostly old ladies who seem daunted at the idea of climbing all those stairs. Whoa! Whoa, Wesker over here. Oh no, he's he's the dude from... Was it the latest movie? He's wearing white. Or it could just be Geese Howard, you know. And t Tits McGee over here. Some big hooters. Miss Club McCall also joins our group. But what really catches my eye is the elegantly dressed pair she approaches. It's so nice to finally meet you. When Chief Inspector Lee mentioned that a famous interior designer is in town. I knew I had to get you. Your confidence in my skills is very flattering, ma'am. I love how the lip sync is in sync with the, the audio and, and the dialogue. I'm sure you won't disappoint, Marianne. Wow, this guy. Oh, you know each other? Mm, yes. Not at all, ma'am. You mentioned something about a Marianne on our way here, darling? Ooh, secrets. Oh, yes, I think I did. They probably banged before. Ah, they must be the clients she was talking about. I might have seen their faces somewhere before. Some magazine? Or the television? I can't quite remember. But then again, most of our guests have likely ended up on the news one way or another. I won't be surprised if these two already have. For people who are popular though, 
They aren't dressed as loudly as the others, and in their simplicity, the couple stands out. The woman in particular is stunning enough to turn the heads of most people in my group, especially the men with wandering eyes. The guy standing beside her doesn't seem to mind, though. And if I'm going to be a bit bolder with my assumptions, I'd say he's basking in the attention. Both of them, in fact. I'd think they're brother and sister if it wasn't for the public display of affection. Ooh, are they, like, making out everywhere? The matching rings on their fingers just cement the fact that they're indeed a couple. Whatever. <laughs> couple or not. What's important is we get this deal closed before the current owners can even think of canceling the listing. I just hope one of the people in my or Rose's group is brave and generous enough to buy this mansion. And so, with papers in hand, I lead the way. When they aren't whispering amongst themselves or going ooh and ah over one thing or another, they ask questions. From how the restoration process went to the history of the place, I answer them all. More than happy to talk about the art pieces and art architecture mostly. However, I'm more careful not to mention anything about the urban legend. Not a good material for sales stock, even if the entire population of Luxembourg knows Some about it. Some of the it. furnishings here are actually the 17th century originals. All of which have undergone a painstaking restoration process just to return its original beauty. Even the glass... thing. Colorful ones. Oh, I don't know, but you get the idea, I hope. Uh, Paige the Wrestler? Is she blonde now or something? Or... Is she voicing? I... I don't know. I don't watch the wrestlings. I know Paige is the emo one, right? Who, who left because of the, the drugs? I think. I really wish I had a, a better monitor set up so I can catch chat faster, but I'm doing the best I can. Even the glass thing, colorful ones, I don't know. Oh, guys, she's an idiot because she's blonde. Especially that one, ma'am. It is said to be a gift commissioned by the fiance ah, of Charlotte Ermengarde. The peach saliva. Okay. Uh -huh. The mansion's current owners have specifically requested that the restoration crew take great care in handling it. You know what's bothering me? Fucking the, the blue outfit this dude is wearing. It's just it's just Beast's outfit from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> oh no. I'm saving again. It's a priceless work of art and the most distinctive feature of the mansion. By the time I've stopped talking, her attention is already s Isn't elsewhere. This place wonderful, darling. I told you it's not a total waste of your time. Oh, she's twirling her hair. What a bitch. I don't know. Isn't it a bit too small? We might have to break a wall down to have more room. Well, I think it is just right. Don't you think so, Marianne? It is splendid, ma'am. Story updated. Let's see. Hmm. Today marked the open house for the... Okay, I don't know why it only triggered now. But isn't it a little too early to make plans when no deal has been signed yet? Never mind that. It isn't going to be a problem. We've got a wonderful legal team to handle everything. Start taking notes, though. I think I've got a few things I want changed before we move in. The rest of their conversation gets lost in the chatter of our companions. I don't want to make any assumptions yet. But their sheer interest is enough to give me a semblance of hope. Oh, please, please, please let me get the money. Eventually, our group reaches the kitchen. Ooh. It's all wooden and medieval. Much like the rest of the house, a great deal of effort has been put in retaining the room's classical appeal. Wow, look at this fucking wine cellar looking trapdoor. The open hearth at the end of the room in particular looks amazing. Like the ones I've only seen in fairy tale. It looks very fairy tale indeed. So, why are there crates in the kitchen already? Mad props to the cleaning crew. Seriously, after overhearing hundreds of their complaints about the soot and tar staining the brakes and how much of a pain in the arse cleaning this will be, they still managed to pull this off. Or make it the look presentable of the at room, least. The however, is what's underneath this hatch here. Oh, don't say anything yet. An underground wine cellar. Yeah, he's really hype. This is the first time the guy in grey speaks up, Mr. Luke Wright. 
my memory supplies from the forums they signed earlier. His sudden attentiveness catches me off guard. Since the start of the tour, only his wife has shown any form of genuine interest in the place. But this time, something lights up in his eyes at the mention of the Undercroft. What's so interesting about the basement? I really don't understand rich people sometimes. He wants to get mad drunk, yo. Right now, he just gives me the impression of a child who has seen what he absolutely wants for Christmas. I've always found it cute whenever I see children act that way, my younger siblings especially. On a grown man, it's almost yes, funny. Yes, sir. It could house around 7,000 to 11,000 bottles of wine. Jesus Christ, that's huge. Truly. And the room, how was it built? The bricks that were used to build the cellar have been carefully picked for the purpose of maintaining and preserving a constant temperature and humidity in the room. Wow. It's a good place to keep your private collection in if you have one, sir. It keeps the corks in good condition. Oh. Love, <laughs> didn't you say before that you wanted to make your own personal vineyard? Perhaps you could start one here. There's something about her pose and the fact that she just appears out of nowhere, being really close to the guys, like, perking up them titties, because, like, ooh, excited. You know we're going to need space for that, darling. And this isn't big enough. If it's space you're worried about, sir, the Ermengarde Mansion sits on a 46-acre lot. There's plenty of room for Jeez, it. Jeez, that's gigantic. We were told that the original owners had a horse stable built here before, too. There's a contemplative expression on Mr. Wright's face, but he doesn't say anything further. His wife, however, seems really pleased that he has started to show interest, if only a little. I smile to myself. I may not completely understand how these people's minds work, but I sh I'm sure as hell know how to spot a buyer with sincere interest. Score! I can't wait to tell Rose. The rest of the tour goes by without a hitch. After more than half an hour, we're able to cover almost every room in the ground floor and are headed to the parlor. Funny, the first time BRC had to survey the property, I kept complaining to Rose how big it is. Now I can't even bring myself to care no matter how much my feet hurt. Maybe this is just excitement over a possible sale? Oh, don't count your chickens till they're... Why would you keep fucking... The, the portraits of z dead strangers here. Yeesh, creepy music. We reach the parlor, however, an odd feeling washes over me. It starts off as small goosebumps on my skin. A feeling of being watched intently. Whispers in my- Ah, jeez, the sound effects. Whispers in my ear and shadows dancing, lurking in the corner of my vision. Dark silhouettes that are gone when I turn to look. A chill settles down my spine, making me feel sick. As I start to bleak out in a cold sweat. I can't do this! I need to sit down for a moment. The old ladies in the group have requested for a break anyway. If I can Excuse just- Excuse me? Ooh. Everyone? We- We will be taking a 15 minute rest here before we visit the first floor. In the meantime, please help yourselves to the refreshments and snacks we've prepared. Ah, <sighs> spook sounds. If anyone has any questions, feel free to approach me. I'd be happy to help you. I let them sit while I retreat to a quiet corner to recover. It's not what you think. Don't think about it. It's not what you think. I probably just caught Becca's cold. Don't think about it. I'm left alone for a good while while the same words spill out of my lips in a silent prayer until a hand taps Hello. my shoulder. Oh, yeah. Tits McGee. Yes, ma'am. Oh, ma look at you. Having to show a group around a mansion this big must be exhausting. Not a problem, ma'am. I'm just doing my job. What a hard worker. Anyway, Isabel, right? Isabella, actually. But yes, what can I help you with, Mary? Actually. Right? Please, just Hana. Call me Hana. I just wanted to ask, how soon are we able to move in? Ooh, my brain completely stops. The sick feeling plaguing me suddenly gone because of the money. Is this a joke? She looks at me expectantly as I struggle to come up with an Wait, answer. Ma'am, I... You see... But we haven't even negotiated a price yet, ma'am. We haven't even finished touring the rest of the mansion. A sale would be great and all, but... She stops me from speaking any further and puts a hand on my shoulder for a moment. With her tight smile, she looks as if she's tasted a particularly oh, sour please, letter. please, sweetie, don't insult me. Money is not a problem. And just between you and me, this place is better off with us than with some old lady who will probably just fill it up with cats. Oh. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with having cats here, ma'am, Hana. 
I'm sure there's more than enough space here if you want pets. Perhaps I'm still not feeling well, but really, what's wrong with cats? <laughs> more importantly, why is she talking about moving well, in already? I'm more of a dog person, but you see, this is going to be a gift to my darling. It's going to be our anniversary soon, and it would be so wonderful if you can secure its purchase for us. Why, I can even offer something extra if you help us out with the paperwork. I... we actually have a process for this, ma'am. I don't really think that would be necessary or appropriate. And just what are you two lovely ladies talking about oh God. here? God. Leaving me and our lovely interior designer to talk here by ourselves. <laughs> what would the people think, darling? Oh, it's just small talk, love. I was asking if she could help me with the paperwork. I try not to wince when her nails dig into my shoulder. <laughs> I can't help but send an imploring look at Miss Machal. Only who gives me an apologetic smile uh, and a shrug. Uh, yeah. I can give you a fact sheet and a form to fill out. Oh, uh, fact checking. Ooh, so low. Jeez. Oh, this bastard too. Let me save again. She wastes no time in taking the papers from my hand and shuffles through the bunch. Oh man, Rose is gonna be so angry at me for letting her Wonderful. do that. Wonderful. And Marianne, I'd really love to talk to you about those changes. You took some notes earlier, yes? I did, ma'am. But I really hope that this time... Excellent. Hopefully you can help us out too, Isabel. Isabella. Right, right. It's a lovely name, Isabel. Oh, this bitch. It's Isabella. Yes, that's great. We'll be more <laughs> than happy to put in a good word to your superiors too, and... What's this? Whoa! Oh, she's super hot here! Ooh, look at those! Ooh! She looks different from the rest of her body, but whatever. He still looks like an asshole. D-list horror prop. <laughs> That's cute! That's a cute little icon. A look of confusion and disgust appears on her face, turning to her husband. He merely shows her reply. Um, an interesting work of art. <laughs> Not to my taste, though. I'm sorry. Darling, buttercup. Art is a complete overstatement for this garbage. <laughs> it looks like a cheap prop from a D-list horror film. Oh no! It's the Anna. Uh, no. It's the help me. Shush, love. Let the girl do what she pleases with. Uh, what do they call this? A chain letter. Oh, forget about it. At the very least, it's not as dreadful. As the one art exhibit I was forced to attend last month. You should have seen it, Marianne. Even you would have been appalled. But ah, that I'm music. sure you'll know what to do with our walls once we get started. I highly doubt it is as bad as you say, ma'am. Nevertheless, you can be assured that my team will only pick whatever suits your tastes. Nothing of this chain letter sort, of course. It has to always work with a palette. I'm quite sure chain letters these days don't come in this form. It's my turn to be puzzled. What do they mean? Rose and I double-checked everything. Are are the papers I handed not enough? I want to ask what I did wrong. I don't want to mess up. But with the way ma'am Hannah's leading the conversation, I'm afraid that's exactly what will happen that's if I do interrupt her. See, darling, isn't she an absolute delight to work with? I can't wait to see how this place will look when she's done with it. Oh, you don't have to tell me that, buttercup. A smile is back on her face when she turns to me and hands me a strange piece of paper. I would still put it away if I were you, though. Otherwise, people might get the wrong impression. Anyway, as I was saying... I don't hear the rest of what she says after that. I can only stare down at the paper, at the letter in my hands. The sides crinkle in my grip, and my breathing grows labored. Dread quickly fills my mind. Isabella? Are you alright? Is that Rose? You're looking pale. <sighs> I didn't even notice when Rose's group joined in, us in the parlor. I want nothing more than to say no, I'm not alright. I want to leave this place because I remember everything as clear as day. Oh shit. The letter and that woman in the attic the is letter. real. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> careless, I've been so careless. How do I even tell them that without looking like, like I've gone mad? Oh god. Should I even tell them? I mean, Rose has no meter, so I don't think that matters. Let's see what the, the update has to say. Oh, come on. Where is it? 
Alright, show the letter. Relationship updated. Ooh, it went back down. Oh, you know what? You know what? Fuck you. Don't show I, the letter. Rose, I... Ooh, look at that. The words are stuck in my throat. I want to tell her I really do. Let's save it over here. But is she going to believe me? She's already dismissed me earlier. It's a concussion, she said. It's not. There really is something in this house, in that attic, in that letter. It's gonna go after us. Please believe me. Hey, is Isabel alright? Oh, this bitch. God. Ma'am, Hannah's voice breaks through the haze, beginning to cloud my mind. Rose is looking down on me, where he etched on her features. I didn't even notice when she removed her wrinkled paper from my hands and pushed me down to sit me by a nearby chair. From the edge of my vision, I can also make out Miss Mahala asking a passing food server for a glass of water. Through it all, Mr. Wright stands in silence. Although curious, he appears more inclined to watch the scene than hell. <laughs> what an asshole. Oh, I hate how they're looking at me too, these two pictures. They're all as likely to believe me as Rose does. To everyone, whatever's in this house is just a hoax. A cautionary Isabella, tale for children. Do you need to call that ambulance? Yes. She offers me a drink, but I push away. I need to get out of here before I cause an even bigger commotion. Clear my head. Take a breath of fresh air. Anything to take my mind off things. No, no. one is going to believe me anyway. I'm just feeling a bit out of it. Excuse me. I'll be back. I just need to catch my breath. Bowing my head, I mutter a quick apology and gather my stuff to make a quick exit. It doesn't matter if this place is haunted or not. I've caused trouble for Rose. I've caused trouble and Rose can be quite unforgiving of behavior like this. I'm almost at the door when she catches Isabel, up to me. Wait. Are we gonna make out? The apprehension must have been quite obvious on my face because her expression instantly shifts to something gentler. Her eyes softer, a fond smile spreading hey, on her lips. I'm not angry. I know. I'm sorry I ruined this for you. Come on. You didn't ruin anything. It's not like we haven't ran into any problems before. If we don't get a deal today, we can always try on a different day. And look. She hesitates, completely trailing off before shifting her gaze down to her hands, a small gesture to stall. Her fingers... Oh shit. <laughs> it's that stupid letter again. My hands stiffen when she gives it back, but I take it nevertheless. More of as an automatic response than any desire to have it back. Alright, so that's four people already. I'll throw it away if I can. <clears throat> but I have this nagging feeling that one way or another it'll find its way back to me regardless Rose, of what I do about this it. Is, you have to let them know about... I know you want us to get this sale so badly. And we've made a lot of plans on how to go about this. I mean, who wouldn't? This is the first time I've been assigned to a property like this. I've sold plenty of houses before, but nothing like what we have here. It's a beautiful house. I'd love to get one of my own if I ever win the lottery. But I think... Look, here's the thing, Isabella. If we are going to do this, work on something... I don't know, this... big. I need you in top shape. And the way you are now... Just sell it to Hannah. Blondie. My mind what? stops. Wait. No, I can still work. I just need to get myself together. That's what you said earlier. I let it go because I thought, Hey, it's your own body and you should know more than anyone how you feel. But after this, I really think you should take a break. Have a Kit Kat. You're... You're kicking me out? Oh. No, I'm not. Look, all I'm asking is for you to take a seat somewhere. I can see you, and let me handle this for now. You're clearly not yourself, and I honestly could use some time not worrying when you'll fall over or not. The day's not even over, and I'm already feeling the stress. Please, humor me just this once. Ooh. She claps, clasps her hands together in front of her eyes, pleading for understanding. Aww. And I do understand, to some extent, that doesn't mean I'll feel any less awful. Whether I'm whether at myself at the unlucky turn of the situation has taken, or for her, I, I really promise don't know. I'll give you a full report of what happens after. I'll even let you take the lead tomorrow. Fine. Okay. I'll step aside. You're for gonna now. get super haunted at your house. You're upset. 
A little, yeah, obviously. Oh, she's pouting. That's cute. If it's any consolation, I won't tell the boss about today. You know how he is. Please don't. I don't want a repeat of the lecture I got during my first assignment. He called me a noob. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I don't even know how to react to that. That's just... My god. <laughs> at the memory, we both burst into helpless giggles, earning a stranger look from the guests, smiling at the, about that at the door. Talking and laughing like this, it's easy to forget any mishaps that happen. Little things you learn to appreciate, I so, guess. Are we good? Ooh, are you good? Actually... I should... I should end it right now. It's 5 a.m. Thank you guys for watching the stream. It's short, but hey, this game looks pretty cool. The voice acting, I think, is it's what, what really is helping sell it to me. I mean, it, it's easier to get through because of the voice acting. Um, you know, it's something like you can, like, you read, but because there's voice acting, you can watch the sprites, too. Um... You know, it, it's what made me enjoy Virtue's Last Reward and, um, well, maybe not to the same extent, but Zero Time Dilemma was completely voice acted in cutscenes. So it, it, you didn't really read in Virtue's Last Reward. In, in sorry, um, Zero Time Dilemma. But Virtue's Last Reward still had a lot of text that you had to read through. But, you know, 999, that was all text based. There's no voice acting in that. And, you know, that can get tiring. So are we good, Rose? Rose? I'm still not okay with it, but Rose has a point. It's better for me to step out of this one for I now. I won't be able to help you anyways if I keep getting distracted like this. Maybe I'll just take a walk outside or something while I wait for you to wrap things up. Please, just stay put. I insist. Alright, I should save. I mean, I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. But I gotta go to bed. Um, I still have work tomorrow. Thanks guys for watching. I will surely stream this next time. Um, I might not read as much as I did now because my throat is ge it's getting worked up. But yeah, this seems really good. I encourage anyone to buy it, even at full price. It's like 500 pesos, that's pretty cheap. It's like Cuphead, you know, without the difficulty. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.